Well, here it is. After all those sermons about tithing and the people who got up in church to talk about how much it means to pledge, and after those silly skits that they actually did in church, I've got my first pledge card. And I've never pledged before, so how do I decide? Let me see. Last year, gave to the Red Cross. That was good. The Friends of the Library renewed the membership. That was good. Now, St. Albans. Should that be like the library? Excuse me. Yes! <laughs> I'm your guardian angel. Do I need one? Do you ever? <laughs> Actually, everyone needs a guardian angel, and I'm here to help. Now, why do you give money to the Red Cross? Um, well, they do good work. I support their goals. Why? Is there something wrong with my No, it, it, it's fine. Uh, but do you support St. Albans for the same reason that you support the Red Cross? I guess I support those other groups because they make the world better. St. Albans makes me better. So, St. Albans makes you better. Right. Okay. I'm going to do my, my card. And I'm doing it three times more than I gave to the library. <laughs> they are going to be so impressed. <laughs> well, I have a gold toll decaf, please. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Yes, I'm the treasurer, and um, I see here you have your pledge card. <laughs> yep. Oh, all right. <laughs> yes, I filled it out for the first time. Let me show you what I'm giving to St. Albans this year. I'll bet you'll be impressed. Well, please, I don't really need to look at it right now, though. Oh. Well, that's okay. I want to tell you, because I just had an epiphany about it. I was taking care of all my annual donations to charities, and I was going to make my pledge to St. Albans pretty much the same as all the others. When I realized just how important the parish is to me, how much it does for me, St. Albans has really helped me get closer to God. I'm so glad to hear that. So here it is, 30 times when I gave to the library. <laughs> And I can tell you that the average annual pledge is about $2,800. Really? That seems like a lot. So my pledge is not really average. Oh, no. No, no. That's not anywhere near average. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was looking at our parking lot, and it doesn't look like there are a lot of rich people in St. Albans. Well, no, there really aren't. At least not by American standards. Uh, but people have been learning over the years to give a percentage of their income. Quite a few actually give 10%, like the Bible teaches. <laughs> oh, I couldn't possibly get that much. <laughs> well, you don't expect them to start there. I didn't used to, but every year I've given 1% more until I reach the top. did it first, but now it's exciting. The thing people don't understand is that when I fill in my pledge card, I'm trusting God to take care of me. And He always has. And now I've had to kind of cut back on maybe on some of the frills like this tall decaf. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe an extra DVD. But I feel like I've gotten closer to God. And that's way better. Okay, back to my pledge. So what's the most anybody gives? 
Well, last year our top three donors gave more than fifteen thousand dollars each to the parish. What? That's incredible. Those people must be loaded. <laughs> much more than you'd imagine if you knew where they were and the homes that they lived in. We're glad to receive any pledge, but the ones who give the highest percentage of their income feel the most joy. They help, uh, actually, the top 25 fund almost three quarters of the budget. Man, that's some commitment. Yes, it is, but you have to understand that these are people who have lifelong ties to the church and strong ties to the parish. The support, they support the parish in a variety of ways, time, talent, as well as money. They're really committed to St. Albans because it's their parish. Well, St. Albans is my parish, even though I'm pretty new. You know, I didn't give anything last year. Am I in trouble? Oh. No, you're, you're not in trouble. And we're still happy to have you here. But I can tell you, you will feel more a part of the parish when you begin to give. And I mean the pledge, not just drop a couple of bucks in a blade. You'll have an altogether different sense of belonging. So, have you made your mind up about your pledge? Mm, no. I guess I need to think about it some more. Well, bless you, Edith. It was nice to run into you. And uh, will you bring your pledge, your pledge card to any gathering next Sunday? Yes, I will. Great. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> I thought you were here to help me. <laughs> but you didn't exactly tell me everything I needed to know, did you? Don't let that expensive coffee get cold. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you get one of those? Well, well every day at least one. Ooh. So let's add it up. 365 times a lot. <laughs> um, so how much was that pledge for? And uh, how much do you spend on coffee per year? Probably less than I give it to the library. <laughs> I don't want you putting it that way. I didn't think you would. <laughs> Well, Edith, you know what they say. No, I do, I doubt it. <laughs> God loves you just the way you are. But he also loves you so much that he won't let you stay that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I'll hear that. Oh, yes, yes, I will. Let's think. Now, uh, how much was that HGTV that you were looking at? that coach purse you were thinking of buying? And do you really need to redecorate your bed? You might be more than I want. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> you have now seen what was done by Edith in year one how she came to the calculation of her first St. Albans donation. What will she do in year two? Come back in two weeks, and we'll show you. <laughs>